next spot on the board for us. I thought, I thought Quinn and Williams was like done for a year, man. These some of these injuries, like that and the Debo one. It's like, how are these players even, you know, considering like, hey, they might be back. Thank God Debo's back. Uh, 1 p.m. Eastern next up. Pittsburgh Steelers 5-8, and 3-4 and four on the road to the Carolina Panthers. 5-8, and 4-3 and three at home. Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. 44 Fahrenheit, sunny, 6 miles per hour is the expected weather. Let's take a look at the line history in this one. I've already told you that this is the highest implied line value from Sports Insights. We'll get to that in a second. Carolina opening up at minus 2.5, minus 102. Uh, they're now minus 2.5 and minus 115, but they went down to 1. It was a very juiced one, but they went down to one for a little bit. My total situation opened up at 38 and a half as a pick It's still basically 38 and a half as a pick There's been a two cent move to the over. Sky Dragons on Pittsburgh money line and the under. 4,309 tickets in. The Sharps are on the Steelers. 52% of the tickets, 71% of the cash. The Sharps have been very good with the Steelers. When they're on them, the Steelers win. When they're off them, the Steelers lose. 86% of the, oh, sorry, uh, 20, 26% of the tickets are on the over, and we don't have a cash flow for that yet. Uh, Steelers come in off that tough 16 14 setback at home to their division rival, the Ravens. They played most of the game without Kenny Pickett. He entered concussion protocol in the first quarter, and he was cleared to return. Uh, he played one additional series, and Tomlin said that Pickett was symptomatic. Uh, so, this is the second time Pickett has gone into concussion protocol. Trubisky came in and was 22 of 30 for 276 yards, one touchdown, but three interceptions. Deontay Johnson caught six passes for 82 yards. Pickens, three for 78. The Steelers' run game struggled, 65 yards on 20 carries. The defense couldn't stop the Ravens on the ground. Ravens finished with 215 yards rushing. Uh, defensive end Chris Warmly left in the third quarter with a leg injury, and the knee will require surgery, but it's not going to be season-ending. It's not expected to be season-ending. Rookie defensive lineman DeMarvin Leal, was activated from the injured reserve on December 3rd. He saw 26 snaps. And then they have Larry Ogunjobi on the depth chart as well. Uh, the healthy defensive linemen behind Montrevious Adams and defensive end Cam Hayward are Tyson Alaulu and Isaiah Loudermilk. Uh, Panthers are somehow in the thick of the NFC South playoff race. They come in off a 30-24 win at Seattle. They won for the third time in four games, went away from Charlotte for the first time since week 10 of last season. Uh, they pulled even with Atlanta, one game of division leading Tampa. And Darnold, 14 and 24 for 120 yards and a touchdown, ran 44 times for 30 yards. LaVisca Chanot led the way with four catches for 31 yards. But Carolina just ran straight into Seattle's defensive front, and everything worked. Everything. Power, outside and inside zone read, fly sweeps, quarterback runs. Every single thing worked. Seattle could do nothing. To stop it, the Panthers ran for 223 yards. Shuba Hubbard ran 14 times for 74 yards and a touchdown caught three for 25. Deonta Foreman ran 21 times for 74 yards. They completely shut down the Seahawks' run game. Dare Geno Smith to beat them. Finished with three sacks, five quarterback hits. Horn and Henderson had interceptions. And now, if they keep winning, they'll win the division. They played without their safety, Xavier Woods, due to a knee injury. He suffered the injury in Week 12. And he's still recovering. He was limited in practice on Friday. Still needs more time to heal. In his absence, Justin Burris is the next man up. Take it away for us here. Do you agree with the Sharps on the Steelers? Are you surprised by that? And how are you betting this one, Andy? Take it away, Steelers, Panthers. No, it feels like there's been strong opinions in the market about the Steelers, especially for the last, I don't know, eight weeks. It feels like there's always been some strong takes, especially early in the week. I like this under quite a bit. Carolina defense is low key good right now. You know, it's been a team that's been able to run the ball too. I think that's probably what you're going to want to do. They just took the ball out of Darnold's hands and said, We have two decent running backs. We're going to move the ball. The Steelers uh, obviously didn't do so well against the run last week. That's, uh, that's the plan, Stan. Run the ball, win this game on, you know, uh, taking the air out of the ball, time of possession, and I think it's going to be a close game. I wouldn't bet Carolina. I wouldn't lay points with them. I think it's going to kind of come down to the last team with the ball or whoever doesn't bleep up the most. Like if it's a, if a team loses the turnover battle by two or more, like that team just automatically loses. Like there's not coming, there's no coming back from something like that in, in a game like this. So lean Steelers like the under may actually play the under. Would like to hear some other things on uh, some of the injuries. I have no, I, I'm saying 
near 0% that Pickett plays, right? Your season's over. He's right. had two of these. There's no sense. There's no sense doing this and putting him back in, risking his health if you believe in him at all long term. So hopefully it's Trubisky, I'm just for his sake. Does Trubisky concern you with the under with this propensity for interceptions and possibility? He's been better when he's actually started games a little, uh, but I mean, he was just coming in, coming in mid game. It looked bad. So I think it's more of a, if I'm building a game plan and I'm the Pittsburgh Steelers coach by Mike Tomlin, I'm, I'm working on a game plan that keeps that from happening by not by not letting him throw into risky situations, which again helps the under. So I I don't know that the line goes to three Papa calls. I feel like this line is pretty much presuming it's it's you know it's no picket. There's been an eleven cent move to the over since yesterday at three thirty when the under was getting hammered. Uh, interesting. I'm going to keep an eye out for that and watch that. But I have interest in the under as well, but I'm not going to bet it tonight. No. I'm not going to bet it uh, tonight. All right, let's move on. 